it is a most common viral STI. The incidence is 6 millions per year and the prevalence is more than 20 millions and it is a lifetime risk if you look at of this infection that HPV infection is in the tune of 50 to 75 percent. Of course, there is a clearance of this HPV infection and that is 70 percent at one year and 90 percent at two years. So, if it persists more than two years that is going to be difficult for us. So, mainly if you look at the pathogenic spectrum of this different viruses, one is HRHPV that is high risk HPV which may give rise the squamous cell carcinoma of uterine cervix, vulva, vagina, anus and penis and as well as oropharynx and esophagus. And low risk HPV will have a pathogenic spectrum in genital warts and low grade cervical abnormalities. The screening methodologies which is which are well known to us is first is a pap smear and the second is HPV testing and then could have a combined approach. HPV testing that is hybrid capture two high risk HPV DNA test which has been a very well valid and been tested all across. There are three more different types of HPV testing that is Servista, then Cobas HPV testing and Apti MA HPV testing can be also tried for the patient. Cervical scan screening guidelines up till now is been followed by 2012 by American Cancer Society, American Society for Colposcopy and Cervical Pathology and American Society for Clinical Pathology and soon cervical cancer prevention guidelines, screening guidelines have been coming by FOXI. In these guidelines we see the population which come across to us in the clinical practice 